Good morning, Rob. Uh, we appreciate you joining us here on Business Spotlight interview. Absolutely. Good morning. Right. So to get started, maybe just for our audience, uh, give us a little bit of, you know, about yourself, about your company, how long you've been in business, et cetera. So I have two companies right now. One is my invention called Million Dollar Collar. So think collar stay, except nine inches long and it goes down the front of your shirt. So when you wear a shirt without a tie, which is the way 90% of men wear shirts these days, uh, it'll look good all day long. It outlasts starch. It outlasts everything. It just, it gives a little bit of reinforcement, holds up the weight of the collar and prevents it from collapsing the front there. So uh, that's one company. The other company is Go Tieless, which features my technology and is the first shirt designed to be worn without a tie. So think that million dollar collar is an aftermarket add-on to any shirt you already own. Go Tieless is a shirt that's already done off the rack. You can go buy it and it's the best shirt you'll ever own. Excellent. I mean, I, that sounds really, really unique and I'm probably using it right now, actually. But uh, so maybe give us a little bit about how you got inspired to invent this or to bring this product to market. So over my shoulder here is my uh, wife and I on our wedding day. I had a brand new freshly pressed uh, Express 1MX, number one dress selling shirt in America. And it just had crumbled into a, a sloppy mess. We got married on the beach in Jamaica. It was super casual and you could see my undershirt. I was just tugging it all day long and looking at my wedding photos. And I thought, man, it's the biggest day of my life. My shirt just totally let me down. So I came home, I internet searched everything I could find to see if there was anything that reinforced this front part of the shirt and everything was some kind of kitschy collar stay, you know, magnets or, you know, re, you know, stuff underneath there and nothing really focused on the problem. And to me, the problem is the placket, which as you can see, it frames the face and draws all your attention up. That placket, the part with the buttons and the holes just doesn't have enough reinforcement. Shirts are designed to be worn buttoned all the way up and with a tie. And they, they still make dress shirts the same way they did 150 years ago. And then nobody's addressed that issue, even though the vast majority of the market is, is tieless and casual. So um, I cut open a shirt, I shoved a piece of cardboard down the front and my new bride was like, I get what you've been freaking out about all these years. And then it was, it started with cardboard. I went through every plastic on the market. Uh, I ruined about a hundred shirts trying to figure this out. Cause I would wash it, dry it, iron it. I'm like, Oh, this is awesome. I send it to the dry cleaner. I later found out that they flash press your shirt at the dry cleaner between 400 and 450 degrees. And even high heat plastics only lasts about 275. So uh, I was ruining shirts left and right, thinking I had the material, I had it all figured out. And uh, it wasn't until I partnered with the plastics company and really figured this out that um, we got it dialed in. And the big thing with Million Dollar Collar, I mean, it looks insanely simple. And, and some people, when you get it, it's like, oh, that's just a piece of plastic. <laughs> Trust me, this is three years of R&D. This goes to almost 700 degrees, which is nearly double what the dry cleaners use. It's soft enough to be sewn through. It's rigid enough to hold up the weight of the collar, but it's still super flexible, super lightweight. It's in the shirt. You never even know it. So if you still need to wear a tie, you can still button up. But um, yeah, that's a, that's a long answer for you. <laughs> oh, I, I love it. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, both from a business standpoint and personally. So I, I love it. Um, so uh, you said that the, the the vision or the or the need came to you from the results of your wedding day to now. So how, how how long has that been? So we just celebrated our ten year wedding anniversary. Um, we got married in 2013, and uh, we've started selling January of 2016. So uh, we're in our seventh year, seventh eighth year, um, and we've sold a half a million units of these worldwide to people in 130 countries. Um, so it's been a pretty wild ride. And the best part is I've ruined zero shirts. I was, you know, you put a piece of plastic in a dress shirt and it melts it. You're going to ruin it real fast. So I did not want to, uh, ruin your hundred dollar shirt with my $2 product. So <laughs> sounds like, um, shark tank is, is in your future. I, mean, I, I can feel it coming. Uh, Rob, so. I wish, I wish, <laughs> um, <clears throat> So through that, so uh, 2013 idea, 2016 kind of got started. So through that, I guess now in business, it's been, uh, what, seven years-ish. Uh, during that time, what's kind of been some of your biggest learnings or aha moments as far as I wish to think that you learned in, in business? Well, you know, I tell people this and I explain it to them. And they're like, yes, this makes total sense. And then you go talk to a brand or a manufacturer or men's warehouse who has 2,000 locations literally with tailors in every location and salespeople and dress shirts. And I'm like, look, 
you guys could sell a ton of these. And they're like, I don't think so. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't think so. So hearing no and hearing all the reasons people come up with not to want to buy my product uh, has been a challenge because it just makes so much sense, especially when I have a chance to talk to somebody one on one. There's very few people that can, you know, tell me that this is not a good idea. So um, that that's been a real tough, tough challenge. But I always look at the product and every business that I've had from the customer's point of view. And it's how, what's the easiest way I can put this into somebody's hands? Because I know once you try my product, you're going to love it. You're going to want it in every single shirt you have. So I always think about it that way. We have, I've gotten a wholesale account with Calvin Klein and some of these big brands. So I buy their shirts, I install it and we sell the shirts done something that you might know Calvin Klein or Tommy Hilfiger or Kenneth Cole or any of those brands. Um, we also have a mail-in service. So you can just mail the shirts to me we'll install them and we'll send them back to you. But you know, there's a hundred thousand dry cleaners and tailors that are really close to you. So you walk down the street, everyone comes with, you know, good instructions. So you can just show this to anybody and have it sewn into your shirt real quick. Excellent. Yeah. So it sounds like you're pretty easy to, to, to do business with, which is excellent. So uh, where do you, so aspirationally, you know, the vision, the big dream, um, looking out five years down the road, where, where do you hope and see your business being at? So I try to set small attainable goals. Um, so my goal is a thousand shirts. And so uh, we've focused, you know, because million dollar collars been selling for seven years and it pretty much does its thing on Amazon and, and our website. And, and we just move product there. Now that we're into the shirt business, it's selling shirts. And so in the first 90 days, even we've already had to reorder since we've had such a great reception to these new shirts, but I want to sell the thousand shirts. And then I want to sell a thousand in a year. And then I want to sell a thousand in six months. And then I want to sell a thousand in a quarter and then in a month and then in a week and then in a day. And so my, my short-term goal, which I think within two years, we should be at a thousand shirts a day. Um, and then it's, you know, either we will look to sell the company or, or grow it. I mean, go Tylus, the brand, we really want it to be kind of the home of business casual. You know, if you think you're invited to a, a casual event, you're like, yeah, just dress business casual. You could ask 10 different guys, 10 different guys are going to give you 10 different answers. So uh, we want to kind of define what business casual is and say, look, if you buy from this website, I promise you, no matter what event you go to, you're going to look good. People are going to talk about you and you're going to feel comfortable with what you're wearing and not be underdressed or overdressed. I love it. I, you're, you know, the number, number one in our real business is to, is to sell something that solves a problem. And uh, that's exactly what you're doing. So I can relate to your, to your comments hundred percent. So your salesmanship is spot on, Rob. I love it. Um, Thank you. Yeah. So uh, as you know, I'm a business coach and owner of a business coaching company. So coaching is near and dear to my heart. If you, if you look back in, in your life, business, personal, whatever, who, who would you consider one of your best coaches and why? Um, well, I'm very fortunate to have my dad who built a business from nothing, literally zero to $35 million a year. Um, he's been through it all. He's done it. The challenge now is he's been in the, you know, upper echelons for so long and sitting at the CEO's desk. Um, you know, I come up with an idea or I ask him a question and, and I get like, yeah, that sounds good. Or, okay, good. Or that's nice. Or I'm not really getting like the feedback anymore. He's kind of checked out totally. So, um, that that's been a challenge. I kind of lost my, my good, uh, mentor there, but uh, I've always found a way to surround myself with people that are far beyond where I'm at. Uh, my wife and I literally um, seven years ago sold everything we had uh, and moved to Los Angeles kind of on a whim. You know, within a year, we decided to sell everything. So I had a business, a house, everything. We sold everything, started over. We knew nobody. Within two months, I was on a business networking hike and met one of the founders of Expedia.com. And he became one of our closest friends and, you know, just, we ended up doing a little side business with him and, and we just have been really great, but I just kind of gravitate towards people who are successful and who are doing things. And, you know, if they'll listen to me and help me out, then I listen to them. That's the biggest thing I learned from those people is if you're going to get a coach or you're going to get a mentor, or someone's going to give you their time, do what they say. It, why ask if you're going to just say, okay, that sounds good. And then you don't ever do anything. I mean, my wife went from, nobody to one of the top stunt women in the industry within a few years because she was around people they said go do this this and this and she went back three weeks later and said hey i did this this and this and they're like what no nope, nobody ever does what they i tell them to do so then they're willing to give more and introduce you to people that can help change your life so 
That's a, that's a super answer. What you know, I was saying that you really can't out earn your learning, right? And whether that's learning through educational, through people, through contacts, through friends, you have to surround yourself with, with information that grows you. So that's a fantastic answer and a, and a great story. Um, you're a lot closer to your 18 year old self than I am. Uh, this is uh, uh, back. So I have to journey back a little further than you would Rob, but if you could journey back to the 18 year old self, uh, knowing what you know today, uh, what piece of advice would you, would you give yourself? Uh, just do it. <clears throat> I've, I've grown four businesses in four different industries from zero to a million dollars in revenue. And um, one of my very first ideas, as dumb as it was and as simple as it was, I was 17 years old. And the what would Jesus do stuff was everywhere. WWJD was everywhere. Yep. Uh, sure. This is also, if you remember, the, about the same time that Bill Clinton was getting his. <laughs> and so I yep. came up with the concept of what would Clinton do? And I was working at a little soccer and volleyball store and we had access to those sales guys that would, you know, sell like the funny soccer shirts to all the different stores and they had all these different accounts. And so I had screen printing people I knew, I had salespeople I knew, I had the design, I had everything. I even had a couple bucks to do the first shirts and I just didn't do it. And it, that drives me a little bit crazy. So uh, <clears throat> if you're not failing, you're not trying. So just give it a whirl. Yeah, you, you... Uh, you have the entrepreneurial uh, spirit. Well, a lot of our, our audience are all entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, you know, getting started, <laughs> have a dream. So um, your, your advice is excellent because you, 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 you've lived it and I can see, feel that bleeding out of you, which is awesome. All right. Uh, last question for you, just to make sure the audience knows how to get in contact with you, any offers you've got, websites, uh, interests, just make sure that we can connect any readers and audience with, with you and your businesses. Yeah, I think the best place to go is to check out these shirts. It's gotylist.com, gotylist.com. So it's, you know, the only shirt designed to be worn tieless. Uh, we've got white, black, and light blue from extra small to 3XL and slim and standard. So it was a wide variety. We actually started with the number one selling shirt in America, Express. Uh, we made better fabric. It's a buttery, soft, wrinkle-resistant bamboo stretch fabric. It is incredible. We added a convertible cuff. So if you ever feel like you want to throw on cufflinks one day, you can just wear cufflinks. You don't need to get that extra cuff. Um, million dollar collar, of course. It's wrinkle resistant. It's stretched. They're incredible. They're 70 bucks, same price as Express, or you can get two for 110. So they're really, really great shirts. You're going to love them. I mean, they're unbelievable. It's 55 bucks a shirt. You just can't beat that. Excellent. Excellent. All right. <laughs> Like, like a great deal. And that, that description of the bamboo, et cetera, I can never repeat that. That's a pretty impressive sentence you had there, all those different adjectives in a row. So yeah. I appreciate that. It's <laughs> so, amazing. I, it's amazing. Yeah, it, it, it sounds like it. I'll be I'll be on, on your website myself probably personally very soon. So well, I really appreciate your time, Rob. It was a super pleasure to meet you and learn more about, about your business. Um, I, I really uh, respect the journey you've been on. And like I said, anytime I meet a true entrepreneur, it's always uh, you know a blessing for me. So thanks for your time. Thank you, neighbor. Talk to you soon.